This small workshop right in the heart of Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa, produced something that not only helps the environment but also protects coffee farmers from serious hazards. Hohad Brahanu and his partner co-founded this startup. They found a way to reuse the toxic husks from the coffee processing for their energy needs. We plan to uh, export our products uh, to different uh, parts of the world. Um, uh, we have seen great demand for briquettes in the Middle East and uh, elsewhere. Uh, we plan to do that in different uh, countries. We want to export our uh, products. Um, also, uh, you know, uh, uh, duplicating this model uh, throughout Africa is going to be one way to reach the international with our solutions. Ethiopia is the world's fifth largest coffee producer. It makes 450,000 tons of the stuff annually, only half of which is consumed in the country. However, an unfortunate byproduct of the process are the 280,000 tons of coffee husk each year. Coffee husk is generated during the processing of coffee cherries, and because they contain some amount of caffeine and tannins, they are toxic in nature, and that means disposal problems. It could be used for fertilizer pur purposes, um, but uh, the time when uh, uh, coffee husk is largely uh, produced and the time when farmers need uh, fertilizers is uh, mismatched and uh, you know, it's months apart, so it cannot be used for fertilizers. Um, it shouldn't be used for livestock feed because it causes uh, 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 digestive uh, system diseases. Uh, so it, uh, it affects the community very badly. Uh, so the last resort for them to get rid of it uh, was to burn it. Uh, you know, you can imagine burning that uh, magnitude of uh, coffee husk is really hazardous for the, eco for the economy, the environment, also the health of the people nearby. Those behind the innovation are not only producing the flammable granules by reusing the husk, but they also provide handmade stoves to burn the granules in. We are also trying to make a charcoal stove by making it efficient than the traditional charcoal stoves which are used in Addis and around the country. We, our stove is efficient and fuel saving and compacts indoor pollution. These young technologists don't want to stop here either. They want to go global with their ideas and products, hoping to contribute to the making of a better and safer world. We plan to uh, export our products uh, to different uh, parts of the world. Um, uh, we have seen great demand for briquettes in the Middle East and uh, elsewhere. Uh, we plan to do that in different uh, countries. We want to export our uh, products. Um, also, uh, you know, uh, uh, duplicating this model uh, throughout Africa is going to be one way to reach the international with our solutions. Hohead's uh, company has been nominated for African Startup Awards for its ingenuity and the potential impact it could have on the environment and the local community. Experts say these small but revolutionary innovations should be recognized and supported for a better future. Group Tarasigitian, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.